From Casey, Casey says, I'm from Colorado and I'm having a lot of trouble trying to grow a coffee shop. To give you a little background about myself, I am a single mother of two wonderful boys who is currently working a nine to five job to make ends meet. And the issue I'm having is that I'm having trouble raising the capital I need to open my coffee shop. When I go to the bank and ask for a loan, I'm turned down. And when I ask a close friend for a loan, I'm turned down. And I sometimes feel hopeless because I don't have the funds or the resources to start my coffee shop. Since I was a child, I've always wanted to open my own coffee shop. After seeing my mother had died from cancer, I was determined that nothing would stop me. Nothing would be able to stop me from creating a legacy and growing a coffee shop that I could be proud of and pass down to my children. I currently make only $10 per hour for my job, which I would, which I work 40 hours per week. And I only make $280 per week after taxes. My rent is $750 per month. And I barely have enough money to feed myself and my children. And we're on the cusp cusp of being evicted from our home. And I believe that if I am successful in opening my coffee shop, it will free me from the nine to five jobs that I have, that I am currently experiencing at my job. I wanted to ask you guys at the Cafe Academy, what should I do? And what should I do to raise the money to start my coffee shop? And what steps should I take to achieve my dreams? So as you can see here, these are the kind of clients that we are usually dealing with from on a regular basis. So our objective here at the Cafe Academy as a business consultant is to be able to rectify their issues by developing a financial plan or developing any uh, protocol that they can go by. So for our client right here, we're going to actually devise a structurized plan so that she could be able to implement those plans in towards growing her coffee shop. And um, but before we do that, we're actually going to gather some more information and we're going to see, um, you know, get more details as far as her day to day activities and and be uh, so we can be able to kind of like have a little more insights into towards what's going on there. But usually, right, what happened is when people are looking for how to start a coffee shop, the, the what they're not what they're looking for is not how to start a coffee shop. They're, they're, what they're really asking is, how do I go about trying to grow something that's bigger than me, even though I don't have the resources and I don't have the available you know cash flow to to get it going. So what they're really mostly asking for is, how do I how do I make something work when I'm in a terrible situation? So that's so our goal is to really rectify that problem by um, creating a plan, creating a plan of action for them. So that they can be able to take the right uh take the right action and be able to just become a successful version of themselves so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to get a whiteboard and you're going to see the process of how we're going to structureize her financial plan so that she could be able to start seeing progression and growing her coffee shop what we're going to do here is we're going to set up a financial plan process framework for our client so that we can have a reference to how we're going to structureize a process for her so that she can achieve financial success in her coffee shop. Now, you might be wondering, what is a financial plan and how can this be helpful for you in your pursuit of growing your business? Essentially, a financial plan is a document that will include a person's current money situation and long term monetary objectives, as well as strategies to achieve those objectives. So if you're looking to start your coffee shop and you're having financial issues, the best thing you want to do is to set up a financial plan so that you can sort out your finances and be able to grow slowly. So based on a brief understanding of the situation of our client, we can already pinpoint that the problem that she's most likely having is a financial problem. So we're going to gather more information in order to identify the best option that she can have so that she can use it to build capital for herself. So in the first circle, we're going to label gather important information. Now, in this process, the goal here is to bring together important information that we can get from our client so that she can make the best decisions. One of the questions that we're going to need answer to is whether our client has any assets that she owns that produce cash flow. But based on the situation, we can already eliminate that and assume that she has no assets. And we are mostly going to focus on the liabilities that she has. Some of the liabilities that we're going to gather from our client is to find out if she has any credit card bills, student loan debt, car payments, or any other liabilities. We'll also look at how much she spends on a monthly basis, including her rent. We already know that her rent is $750, but there could still be more information that needs to be gathered that we don't know yet to get the full details. How are you guys doing today? So I'm just starting now taking a little break. I'm actually out here, uh, near the library. You know, this is usually where I go to in order to get some fresh air so I can be able to uh, structureize my thought process and be able to just organize myself. Now, the reason why I'm interrupting this video is if you guys find this video useful, I would like for you guys to click on the like button. Now, what that does is actually tells YouTube that, hey, this information here that I'm watching is very useful. And I would like for other people that are in my situation to be able to have the ability to see this video. 
When you click on the like button, what that tells YouTube is, hey, this video, I find it very valuable and I want other coffee shop entrepreneurs to be able to see this as well so that they can start to be able to take action and start becoming a better version of themselves and to be able to grow and flourish as an entrepreneur. Now, another thing is when you guys are starting your business as well, <clears throat> when you guys are starting your coffee shop business or any business in particular, um, don't feel guilty about taking a break. Take yourself a break. Get some fresh air. As you can see here, I'm actually about to go walk to the, um, I don't know what they call those things. If you guys know what they call it, uh, leave it in the comment section because I'm always on it. I don't even know what they call it, right? <laughs> so um, always take a break and get your get your mind a little fr uh, fresh air, you know, so you can be able to just think think better. Because by the end of the day, right, it, the goal is it's all about perseverance. It's not about trying to. Um, uh, whoa, yeah, I would recommend you guys going on this. You guys could probably fall down and hurt yourself. <laughs> but yeah, it's all about perseverance. It's about um, being able to just, you know, be able to think last longer and in, in the, in the um, last longer because see if you if you are always busy and you're always trying to get yourself you know if you work yourself off too much right what happens is that you're more than likely to want to give up because when you expose so much of your energy and nothing is coming as a result you're going to really hurt yourself and you're going to more likely to want to quit so i usually look at business it's particularly online business as well i look at business as playing baseball because see the thing is you're usually going to miss one time you're going to miss two times you're going to miss three times you're going to miss a lot but on your 54th swing that's when you're actually going to hit the ball so the best way to approach that right if you know that maybe the 54th is when you're going to hit the ball what you want to do is well your first 20 swing you want to be able to just you want to swing to hit the ball 20 times and if you miss those 20 times you take a break then you swing another 20 time and if you miss you take a break eventually you're going to hit that one that one ball that's going to hit a home run for you so that's why you want to it's all about perseverance when you're growing your when you're growing your business so that's one of the reasons why i like to come here yeah so make sure you guys take a break relax yourself and uh we'll continue the video right now also, after hitting the like button, click on the subscribe button so that you can keep in contact with more valuable content that we're going to be putting out for you guys, okay? After gathering important information from our client, the next process we are going to follow is to establish goals and objectives. Now, when it comes to establishing goals and objectives, the best action plan is to create a budget and set aside money to be able to build capital. But for our client, we've seen that she doesn't make enough money to set aside cash to start her coffee shop. So the best plan we're going to have more than likely is that we're going to see how we can make our client have multiple revenue streams. So we're more than likely to have her start small by offering coffee products and goods from home. She may not need to have an actual physical location and she can actually utilize the technology that we have today to offer delivery to customers. If she succeeds in this, this will help her increase capital so that she can actually have a physical location. So the goal here is for her to have another source of income so that she can raise money to start a coffee shop Without a physical location, this would be considered bootstrapping, meaning that you are starting a very low capital business. After the completion of the financial plan, I will explain more about bootstrapping. Now, in the next circle, we want to evaluate current situation. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at our client's current situation and see how she's positioned herself. Based on the information we gathered so far about our client, she doesn't have enough capital or resources to start her coffee shop business. She's currently working a nine to five job and she doesn't have enough money to save for her business. So now we'll move on to the next circle, which is to develop a comprehensive plan. When building a comprehensive plan, we need to look at all our options and how we're going to implement those plans. So our situation here for our client is a financial problem to the degree that she doesn't have enough money to start her business. So three of the plans that I'm going to create for her is one, bootstrap her coffee shop, two, build personal credit, three, build business credit. Now, I would like to explain more about bootstrapping her coffee shop. I believe that this would be a key component of her entrepreneurial development for our client because by bootstrapping her coffee shop business, she will still be able to actively participate in growing her coffee shop with little or no money. So some of the things that we'll have her do is to conduct market research, write a business plan, look for coffee grounds that are of high quality, create a website so that she can have an online presence, create her LLC, and everything that would be essential for starting a business at a low cost so that she can still have foot in the game and will be inclined to take more action as time progresses. Now, as she is bootstrapping her coffee shop business, she's going to build her personal credit and build up her business credit at the same time. If she starts building her personal credit and business credit early, within six to 12 months, she can use her credit to raise more capital by applying for loans, personal credit cards, and business credit cards. Also by building her credit, she will also be given more opportunities for further funding as this proves that she is good with her money and lenders will be able to give her the capital she needs to start her business at a lower interest rate. 
Now continuing the creation of our financial plan, the next step following the development of our comprehensive plan would be to implement the plan into action. After implementing the plan into action, we will want to follow up with our client to ensure that the execution is in place and if there are any obstacles along the way, we can then rectify the problem and if necessary, modify the plan. So be aware that as you are writing a plan, your plan is subject to change at any given moment in order to achieve the objective. A plan is just a way to structureize your thought process and to be able to have a framework that you're going to follow. Essentially, this is the financial planning process that we have for our client. I want to talk to you a little bit more about bootstrapping your coffee shop business. Now, when it comes to bootstrapping your business or any business in particular, you always want to be looking towards how do I still make it work despite my current condition? How do I still be able to grow my business, my coffee shop business, even though I'm barely making enough money from my job to actually fund your business, fund your coffee shop business? So because in most businesses, you do have the ability to bootstrap and start with nothing. In other businesses, you actually have to have capital. So for example, if you want to start a hospital business, you're going to have to actually have a lot of money at front in order to be able to buy the hospital, to be able to actually service your patients, to be able to actually hire doctors and the whole nine yards. So businesses like those, you actually have to have the capital. Most businesses such as coffee shop, you can start that from, from your house. You can start your nail salon at your house. You can also start your, your hair salon at your house until once you gather enough capital, once you gather enough cash, then you can start looking into buying a physical location and then you can start, then your business starts to grow from there. Now, when it comes to growing your business, the journey is usually very difficult. So don't let nobody tell you that starting a business is easy. All you do is this. It's not easy, but once you reach your destination, it's worth it. And everything has a step-by-step -step process so that you can be able to lower your chance of failure and increase and increment your likelihood of financial success. Now, if you're looking to start your coffee shop business from the ground up and earn your first quarter million dollars this year, we highly recommend you go to thecafeacademy.com and get the masterclass course today. The masterclass course is going to show you step by step how to grow your coffee shop. It will also show you how to write a business plan so that you can get the money you need in order to start your coffee shop. And it will also show you how to do market research so that you can be able to come up with a competitive advantage to beat your competitors and win the competition. Now, when you get the masterclass course, it's going to change your life and you will start to see progress immediately. See, when I'm creating the course, my goal is to make sure that you guys are getting the most value for your dollar spent so that you can start seeing the success of growing your coffee shop. When it comes to me creating a course, everything that's inside a course that I create is going to be practical. It's going to be factual, no motivational nonsense. And you're going to be, when you watch, when you look at the courses, you're going to be like, wow, I didn't know I can do this. I didn't know I can do that. Yes. So you're going to learn how to build business credit. You're going to learn how to increase your own personal credit. You're going to learn how to write a business plan so that you can be able to get the money you need in order to start your coffee shop business. So in my courses, you're going to be learning everything that you need to know in order to start achieving your success, because I want you guys to be successful within yourself. I want you guys to be successful and be able to live your life and live your dream. And you shouldn't have to go through any, any mistakes and any trials and errors. I want you guys to just take this information and become the better version of yourself and start living your dreams. Start making an impact in people's lives. Start creating a coffee shop business so that everybody can have a place to come to, have a place to, you know, enjoy themselves, be able to have uh, dinner dates. Also, you want to be able to have a place where entrepreneurs and freelancers can come and do their work and be productive. You also want to foster an environment where people can conduct interviews and be able to uh, have a place where a social gathering can happen and people can come together and make long term connection and long term friendships. You want to make your coffee shop a place where people can consider it their second home.